Hello and welcome. First Sunday of August is normally a uh, International Friendship Day. You know that? And today is International Friendship Day. Right from Indian scenario to international scenario if you name, there are plenty of examples to endorse what friendship is. And when you say a friend in need is friend indeed, the most daunting time you know of your true friend. And when it is the most happening time, you would never come across true friends. And I think the pandemic has introduced us with true enemies and false friends. With that laid down, let me also put some more perspective as to what it is, but not with plain words by telling you, narrating you one example, one story. In fact, a voyaging ship was wrecked once, completely wrecked. There was nothing in that ship. It was a great storm and it wrecked the entire ship. The storm took the ship at the sea and there were only two men who survived on it and they were able to swim to a small desert like island. The two survivors who have been good friends, not knowing what else to do, agreed that they had no other resource but to pray to God. However, to find out whose prayer was more powerful, they agreed to divide the territory between them and stay on opposite sides of island. The first thing they prayed for was a food. The next morning, the first man saw a fruit bearing tree on his side of the land and he was able to eat its fruit, satiate his hunger and was completely satisfied. The other man's parcel of land remained barren. After a week, the first man was lonely and he decided to pray for a wife. The next day, another ship was wrecked and the only survivor was a woman who swam to his side of the land. On the other side of the island, there was nothing. Soon, the first man prayed for a house, clothes, more food. The next day, like magic, all of these were given to him. However, the second man still had nothing. Finally, the first man prayed for a ship so that he and his wife could leave the island. In the morning, he found a ship docked at his side of the island. The first man boarded the ship with his wife and decided to leave the second man on the island. He considered the other man unworthy to receive God's blessings since none of his prayers had been answered. As the ship was about to leave, the first man heard a voice from heaven booming why are you leaving your companion on the island? My blessings are mine, alone. Since I was the one who prayed for them, the first man answered. His prayers were all unanswered and so he does not deserve anything. You are mistaken. The voice rebuked him. He had only one prayer, which I answered. If not for that, you would not have received any of my blessings. Tell me, the first man asked, what did he pray for that I should owe him anything? He prayed that all your prayers be answered. Moral. For all we know, our blessings are not the fruits of our prayers alone, but those of another praying for us. Congregational prayer perhaps. Value your friends. Don't leave your loved ones behind. There can be a number of stories that may prove that friends have been there for, for so many people. And that's the reason friendship has prospered. It has gained the value that what we have seen as of now and what we have survived to see it in future as well. Once Warren Buffet and Charlie Munger built Berkshire Hathaway from a single textile mill into a 650 billion powerhouse and they never had an argument. Why? According to the two business partners, it's because they admire each other's strengths. Buffett and Munger recently appeared on CNBC for an interview about their six decades of friendship. Yes, six decades of friendship and Buffett particularly 
emphasize the value of an egoless approach to work. His advice for anyone who wants to lead a successful career or life it's better to associate with people who are better than you. Take a deep dig at mythology and see how Arjuna and Krishna as his friend guided him to clear the mind block first and then face the real blood as opponent and maybe kill themselves and come out as a triumph, as a winner. Likewise, the same Mahabharata has Sudama. Sudama as a not so affluent class, poor man, but always had a great love, affection and maybe that kind of a belongingness to Krishna. And likewise, if I give you an example, there can be so many examples to fit into that band of friendship. In today's modern scenario, I would definitely like to tell you there is more to what is friendship as a meaning, as a value and maybe as the overall picture to understand. Once relationship or friendship ends, do not continue to pursue them again with same person. It's like watering a dead flower. Be a man of your words. If you think that you are committed to some person or maybe to your own statement, if you give someone a commitment, then you must fulfill your commitment. If you fail to do so, you will lose respect in your own eyes. If you want to be a good friend, it's better to die all alone than to be with surrounded by people who will just talk to you when it suits them. Realize that they are not your true friends. Being alone doesn't mean you are lonely. Learn to enjoy your own company. There's nothing wrong with you if you are roaming all alone. Don't drink poison just because you are hungry. Don't entertain toxic people just because you are lonely. Learn to respect others' opinion. There's nothing wrong if someone has different opinion from yours. Learn to use your time wisely. We spend most of our time on useless things for which we later regret. Make schedule how will you spend your day. Having good principle rules make you a good human and makes you happy from inside. Trust your basic instincts. Most of them, they are right. Never stop learning. We start learning from a moment from when we are born till we die. Learning makes you aware of your surroundings and you can make sound decisions. Life is too short to make mistakes. Learn from others mistake. It will save much of time and energy. Weak and attractive are never coexisting attributes of a man. The women are attractive based on looks. The woman you choose has a massive impact on who you become. Never pick one randomly. Work on your fashion, work on your body, purpose, grooming, frame and maybe seduction also. You gain self-respect every time you resist low value pleasures. I'm sure there are so many things that we can learn other than friendship. But what friendship does to us is it makes us stronger. It makes us vulnerable. It makes us to listen to them. It makes us to bow to them. It makes us to gain that strength to maybe push that and pull that mountain or move that mountain. It gives us everything to live, live happily. It gives us the greater courage to maybe face difficulties in life. Friendship is something which is a ship of friendship. And you need to realize that ship is anchored sometime. Ship can also take the torrid waves. Ship can also take an overload. So there is a responsibility. There is a camaraderie. There is a great sharing. There is always a great strength and value of friends in everybody's life. I'm sure while meeting strangers, you might have never thought that they will become your friends. So the power of being uncertain, unpretentious, unpredictive and exploring is what can lead you to friends. People who have friends, they are lucky. People who do not can still have friends in terms of their own family members. That's the reason we have family members, the inner circle, the outer circle, which God has bestowed on us. And it's basically for what it is only meant 
to realize the importance of bonding importance of that relationship and these are mere the elixir of life in pandemic time most of us might have just lived another day because there were friends there were people who were caring for us there were people who were acting as a moral booster they were a moral support to us they were there may not be physically but on phone call so friends friendship is something to give not to take and if you have more than one in your life i'm very sure you are you can call yourself lucky and there are plenty of stories which in the recent past in the pandemic time people have turned up as true friends and you should not be shocked if you were an help to others they call you as your friend friendship is something that you should keep very close to your heart on this international day of friendship i would only say that value people anybody can be a good friend only thing is you need to give them sufficient time and maybe love don't expect to take instead let's spark our full faith trust love bonding sharing and maybe that expectations of being a good human and valuing the society at large i'm sure you're going to do this not today but all throughout so the next international friendship day you have a story to tell as i have plenty of this to take as an example to commemorate happy friendship day thank you